Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So tonight, we arranged to play with the developers, but Steam went down, so it turned in to a bit of a question and answer. So I've mixed in some clips of a various few videos, the interesting parts, to fill in the background, and just enjoy. There's some quite interesting subjects. We had rotors, actually, it was like, uh, we released the game and a few weeks after that we realized like, okay, we can do rotors, it's not that hard, and uh, it can be fun, and uh, we we uh, developed these rotors just to see what will people create with it, and uh, if they will uh, appreciate it, or if they will use it, and uh, the thing is that, yeah, they use it a lot, and uh, so this was like a test uh, to see if people will play the game like Lego Technic, like really using this little uh, specific gadget, gadgetary kind of blocks and they use it. So uh, wheels are one of the things that we would like to do and I personally see it like uh, you will have a wheel block, uh, it will be connected to, to the logic in the cockpit, same as uh, we have thrusters, you know, like we just press W, A, S, D and the fly, uh, the ship flies in the in the directions you, you like assume it will and uh, we need the same thing with the wheels, some little logic on top of the wheel block and uh, it will run and uh, I think it will be a, a lot of fun, and we have already seen many uh, videos where people <laughs> try to build uh, wheels out of blocks, and they do these gravity tricks. And I think that with real, uh, real wheels, and with a gravity that affects uh, ships as well, uh, it will be a, a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Very nice. Awesome. Uh we have a question here as well regarding uh, dynamic events such as asteroids floating about in space and colliding into your ships. Is that something you have considered? <laughs> it's funny that you're asking it. I'm, I, I see a smile on Andre's face. Uh, we actually work on this on Friday and uh, I, I will uh, let Andre answer this question. Okay, can you hear me? We hear yep, you. Yeah, yep. so just you up, uh, yeah one of the programmers is starting to working on this, and uh, it's just basically the asteroid uh, field uh, which is flying through the space and uh, hitting everything you have here. So you can like cover behind the uh, asteroids, but uh, if you're not covered, it will smash uh, through I don't know few few layers of armor, and. Um, uh, there will be several settings for hostility, so with the easy one it will fly from one direction, like from sun or I don't know, and in um, hostile environment it will fly from every direction, so it will be much harder. And uh, there will be also some uh, warning system, like um, I don't know, if you build antenna it will warn you that uh, meteor store imminent in I don't know, two minutes or something, so you will have to take cover. Okay, that sounds amazing. Could I ask really a quick question, cool. if you don't mind? Um, you know you brought onto the um, antenna. Um, what what are your thoughts on radar or some sort of like detection system in space? Is that anything you've thought about? Uh, yeah, currently there's uh, player attacks which are visible from unlimited distance, but uh, this is just a hint for players. But, uh, but in design, um, it was designed like uh, every uh, astronaut, every uh, ship with antenna, uh, receives uh, the signals and also transmit the signals with ID so um, it will be used for identification of each other and for example if you have uh, turned off the transmitter you can just passively receive all the signals but nobody can see uh, your tag or uh, your ship or turrets won't uh, see you unless they see you physically uh, so you're kind of uh, invisible for um, radar if you turn off the antenna and um, it will be also used for identif identification um, between factions and the turrets will uh, shoot only uh, something which is unknown or enemy. So if you enable the antenna and fly around to your base it's fine, but if you have turned it off uh, the turrets will smash you. Oh, very nice. Um, just another question that has been popped on quite a few of my videos is um, cloaking or some way of like you building a stealth ship. Have you got any ideas into that? or? anything? Uh, this is one of the things that we uh, were um, 
we spent some time at the beginning of the design of Space Engineers and uh, uh, then we, um, uh, I don't want to say like we went a different uh, direction but we uh, realized that it's not that important in the first phase of the game so we, we just let it but uh, the, the original ideas were like if you have a, a ship from, that's made of blocks that are made of some special material that's not visible on radar or it's not easy to detect then you can hide but of course this material would be uh, very um, to say like uh, oh, hard to find rare uh, yeah of course this but uh, it will be easy to break you know like uh, it will be uh, even less protect protective than light armor it will be almost like some glass or something like that very and fragile yeah that's the word yeah. and uh, uh, so so yeah but this is one of the things that we consider as uh, nice to have and we'll get to it uh, probably later well, thanks for that really like that it's very nice to hear it might be coming in later too uh, can I ask you a quick question on shields have you guys ever thought about those yeah we're getting quite a lot of uh, tweets about shields as well from the uh, YouTube comments asking that as well yeah, I, I know, I, I noticed this in forum and, and everywhere. Uh, the thing is that we haven't, we never really wanted uh, energy shields, you know, like the usual Star Trek kind of shields in uh, in Space Engineers, because uh, it should be as close to the modern age as possible. And uh, so I don't see it as a, as a real thing anytime soon. And... Uh, uh, but, you know, there is still this thing that maybe in a year or two or three years uh, when all these basic things will be uh, finished, maybe we will do some modification or, or something like that and uh, uh, there will be shields. I mean, uh, we really don't want to limit the possibilities of space engineers, but there are still, like, literally thousands of other things that we need to do first than, uh, than this. Um, just, uh, just just one quick question that I got inbox the other day was how how far are you gonna take survival? Are you gonna take it to the extreme realism of like needing to eat and drink, or are you gonna just keep it as simple as possible, just needing energy and so on? Actually, as as simple as possible, uh, at least for now or the the near future. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned on my blog, uh, the reason is that. Uh, we want this game to be about things you build and not about your body. And um, so, instead of focusing on these uh, on these uh, things like uh, that you have in other games like Arma or Daisy or other games, other survival games, uh, you are really focusing on your body, you know. And uh, uh, but you are not building things. And uh, so, what we think is that. Uh, we should focus our time, our development time, and also the the general like uh, direction of the game on the building things, and uh, not to focus it on on character customization or body functions and stuff like that. At at least for now, <laughs> we discussed the cargo ships, <laughs> yeah. and uh, <laughs> so this uh, yeah these cargo ships they are not wrecks, they are normal ships. And uh, they will be, I think that's a thing that uh, people will be able to discover or just take it, you know, grab it and, uh, and, uh, and use it. Cool. I have so one last question, I believe, before we head off and stop this. Yep. I have one last question. That is regarding grouping of items. For example, in the inventory, when you have 50 lights on and 50 rotors. You just want a, a quick way to turn something on. Yeah, I think we should do this, and uh, I don't know when we'll get to it. There are actually two approaches that we considered, uh, and one is uh, uh, the programming, or uh, the idea that people will be able to program uh, their uh, blocks with, uh, for example, C-sharp, and they will be able to set simple programs such as uh, if sensor detects something, uh, it will trigger an action, so you can switch lights, turn engines on off, uh, explode warhead, or open door, close door, or maybe 
create some traps or something like that. And uh, so this is about programming uh, blocks. And then uh, there is this idea with programming HUD, which means that uh, you will be able to write simple programs uh, that have their uh, their interface on on your HUD, and uh, you can control things from this HUD, like uh, turn lights on off. Uh, uh, without going to the terminal screen and uh, so I was actually considering that we can do grouping through this but uh, maybe that would be too too complex you know if you just want to group things and not write programs so maybe we will need to do some some grouping uh, sooner than we do this programming so we'll see so we got some really interesting answers and I'd like to thank you for watching as well as all the YouTubers and the developers that were here for this event. I'd also like to ask you if you've got a question to put towards the developers, put it down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get it to them in an interview near in the future. So once again, I'll see you next time.